Hey everybody, Prax here. Just um, had a little fun today on stream and opened a couple of boxes. The one box is, the first box is just nuts in my opinion. Had a lot of fun. Uh, you'll see the chat and stuff on the side. I didn't even change the scene for this. Like you can look right here and it's, it's still there. But you'll see chat and some reactions from a few people that were hanging out while we opened boxes. And uh, once again, enjoy the video if you want to you can always uh, I'll, I'll put a link in for the twitch channel like subscribe share come hang out on the on the stream sometime hope to see you guys later and we got smart this time unlike last time where we had trash everywhere I got a trash can right there so some of that No song requests or anything today, guys. I might rip this VOD and cut it down for a YouTube vid for the box opening. <sighs> Haven't quite decided on that part yet. So let's let's get this in a spot where it makes sense here. Sound. Cards smell good now. They sound like they sound like cards. All right, let's see how this comes out. Come on, there we go. Hey, that looks pretty good. Relic Runner can't be blocked if you cast a historic spell. I like that that change. Uh, like in terminology, it's a really good change. Uh, creatures you control gain for strike. That's pretty good. Charge, nothing like plus one plus one. This guy is actually pretty good. You can get a 3-3 uh, three, three for 4, basically, with Menace, so that's pretty solid. Um, 7 damage to a creature with flying. Hmm. Divest. Nothing like black control. This is a great spell. I was using it in the pre-release, and it just comes onto the battlefield. It doesn't come into the battlefield tapped, and if you kick it, you get two basic lands. So it's pretty dope. Uh, draw two cards. Uh, three one with haste. If it's kicked, gain control. Oh, that's kind of cool. Time of ice. So for those who haven't been paying attention, there is a new card type called sagas. As you can see here, they're an enchantment. It's a subtype. My bad. Come on. You were doing so well. This camera was doing so well until like just now anyways it it's it goes over three turns so when you cast it the first time let's see if I can change this a little bit when you cast it the first time um, it gets a counter and you get whatever happens in the one slot and then dur right before your uh, or is it <coughs> right after your draw step um, it gets it gets another counter and it does whatever is in slot number two. A lot of them share like a one and two, and then when it gets the third one, it does what the third one does, and then it gets uh, put in the graveyard. It's a really cool concept. Uh, scry one, tap for colorless. That's kind of garbage. Settle the score. That's a pretty sweet card. I like the artwork now too. The artwork looks so good. Like it was pretty garbage there for a little while, but. It's, it's it's pretty good now. Oh, we got a foil mountain and an avatar. Okay. One day I'll figure out a way to uh, stream openings a little better. Oh, I just wish I had a better camera that actually focused where I needed to focus. Anyways, Befuddle, Bloodstone Goblin, um, Destroy Artifact or Enchantment, Game 4 Life. That's pretty sweet. I can't believe they reprinted Opt. Uh, more, let's see, Reveal a Creature or Land Card. That's pretty good. Turn two, two creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Sapperlings, can't block because I'm a flyer. Cyclops. Broken Bond, destroy an artifact or enchantment. You can put a land card in. That's pretty good. 
That's actually pretty tasty. Okay, let's go through these. Guitar Hero guitar today. Oh my god. Uh, bodyguard enters. Choose another creature. Sacrifice bodyguard creature gains indestructible. That's kind of cool. Uh, War Phoenix flying haste. When you attack with three or more creatures, you can pay three. If you do, return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tap then attacking. That's pretty dope. Let's see. Archaeologist enters the battlefield. You can return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. When you cast a historic spell, it gets a plus one plus one counter. 3-3 three, three for 4 with some pretty crazy shit. I like it. And Legendary Merfolk. And Garbage. I don't know, I thought the last time we did uh, card openings, everybody seemed to enjoy it, so I decided I was going to do it on stream again. More people, <laughs> that fucking cat, dude. Look at that cat, dude. <laughs> it's just like, I got wings. All right, Fury, Knight of B New Benalia, Befuddle, Abomination. Ad that's some weird mana fixing. Two mana to, like, fix mana. Rat Colony. Lenor Scout, that's a great card. <laughs> it's going to eat that bird. Spell costs one colorless less to cast if you control a wizard. When it enters the battlefield, return to your creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Oh, so it's got a bounce. That's kind of cool. Tragic Poet, which is enchantment return. All right. Great. Three sap tokens. Uh, search your library for two cards. Put one in your hand and the other into your graveyard. That's an interesting tutor. Uh, spirit, lifelink. Oh! Oh. oh, come on, camera, focus. She's 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 beautiful. Come on, camera. Oh. First mythic of the box. If would you would you please? I'll just read it off. It's a five five for five legendary angel. Flying, first strike, lifelink. Other angels you control get plus one, plus one, and have lifelink. It's pretty crazy. She's really good. I like her. Gonna have to make that angel deck. Um, I honestly don't know. She is crazy beast, dude. Like, if I make a commander deck... If I can make a commander angel deck, that would be ridiculous. Is there a... F Hello, camera. I don't think... There's a manual focus on the camera. There probably is in, like, OBS or something. Sergeant in Arms, if it's kicked, it gets two extra creatures. Befuddle, Goblin, Skin Witch. Uh, each, if it's kicked, each opponent discards two cards. That's pretty good. Uh, Gift of Growth. So, untapped target creature gets plus two, plus two. If the spell was kicked, that creature gets plus four, plus four instead. Big old Worm. Sphinx, Compass, deal five damage to target creature or destroy an artifact for five? That's like, that's not that great. Look at you nerds, drooling over the crack. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Five mana, three, three, flash. When Pearl Trident enters the battlefield, you may exile target historic permanent you control. If you do return that card, the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. That's crazy. That's actually really good. Like, okay, so let's let's take like Sagas, for example. When it gets that third counter, right? Um, it's it's not um, the third counter is basically like an ultimate, right? So you're looking at, you know, 
it going to the graveyard right after that. Let's say you put your you've got the second counter, it's your opponent's turn. You cast this guy at the end of their main phase before the end step. And it gets removed, he's on the field, end step hits, it comes back into play, and you get, you know, counter one again. That's pretty good. Uh comes into play tap lands. We've got a Dijin, plus one, plus zero for each basic island you control. That's kind of crazy and weird. And they changed the uh, the border, by the way, for legendary creatures. I don't know if you guys have, if I, I hadn't pointed that out. But I like the new borders. The multicolor uh, borders are really, really cool. Okay, next pack. Got a turtle trying to eat some birds. I think. <laughs> um, more, more, more stuff. Panda cards. Hmm. Target creature you could put a one-one counter if it's um, if it's a legendary creature. Then it fights target creature. That's okay, I guess. Compass. All right. When Fire Fist Adept enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to target creature an opponent controls, where X is the number of wizards. That's some pretty good wizard synergy, I guess. Turn target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. It's the same cost as regrowth. It's just different word. On Sarah's Wings, Enchant Creature. Oh, it's a legendary enchantment. That's kind of cool. Um, Enchanted Creature is legendary, gets plus one, plus one, and has Flying, Vigilance, and Lifelink. Oh. Oh my god, there's a Crit Wall of Text. Torgar, Famine Incarnate. Eight mana for a 7 6. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. The spell costs two colorless less to cast for each creature sacrificed this way. When it enters the battlefield, up to one target player's life total becomes half their starting life total rounded down. That's that's kind of legit. That's kind of legit. Don't forget, you can like target yourself with that because it says target player. So let's say you're at, you know, five life and starting life total is twenty, or you're even playing commander and your starting life total is thirty. You could target yourself and go to like fifteen or ten or whatever it is. Okay. More garbage. Just kind of swinging through these now since we've seen most of the commons. All right. Chainer's Torment. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, counters 1 and 2. It deals 2 damage to each opponent, and you gain 2 life. Counter 3. Create an XX Black Nightmare Horror Creature, where X is half of your life total rounded up. It does X damage to you. Uh, okay. Merfolk Trickster, Flash, for two blue. When it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. It loses all abilities until end of turn. Ooh, hey, dual lands. I'll never say no to dual lands. This one is black-white. And we get a Vigilance. Creatures can't attack you or a Planeswalker you control unless their controller pays one close for each of those creatures. That's pretty good. That's a good way to slow people down. Wonder if I can get this to
trying to see if there is a Focus off. Oh, hey, how's that look? That looks really good right there, doesn't it? We're going to apply that. Okay, I think we're good now. Oh, do I have to hold it like right here? All right, healing grace. Oh, I just had this thing like perfect. Well, we're gonna have to re-perfect re this. Wow, you're way over here now. Okay. Deep freeze. How are the colors coming up? Like now that it's actually focused. Looks they look so good. I honestly don't know how well it comes out on camera, but the cards look really good. Like they, they went above and beyond on the art for this set. Right. Untamed Kabu. Hello. Um, if it's kicked, it gets three counters. It's got Vigilance and Trample. They reprinted Juggernaut. Why would you do that? The Mending of Dominaria. Like, it just looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. The Lonely King. See, this is psychic in like 10 years. We've only gotten a foil mountain so far. That's not a mythic that needs to come back over here. That saga is pretty sweet, dude. <laughs> oh man. Is the focus good now? It looks good on OBS, so I just want to make sure the cards look good for you guys. Alright. Uh, ooze. Vicious offering. We haven't seen this guy yet. Sack a creature for the kicker. Target creature gets minus two. If it was kicked, it gets minus five, minus five. That's pretty good. Okay. Drastically better? Good. Good. I had a, I've got a, like the properties manually up, so if it's like not good, I'll get it changed. Um, enchant permanent. You control enchanted permanent, and it becomes legendary. Knight of Malice, Hexproof from White. So I noticed that they changed, like, instead of this being, like, protection from white, like, you know, way back in the day with Black Knight and White Knight, they had, uh, you know, pro-white, pro-black. Now they have Hexproof where they can't be targeted, but they can still take damage. And he gets bigger if they have a, um, a white permanent. It's pretty cool. Lich Mastery. Oh, my goodness. Look at the art, dude. Oh, my God. All right. Hexproof. You can't lose the game. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. When Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. I don't know how I feel about that. Got a Foiled Frenzied Rage. Plus two, plus one in Menace. That's pretty dope. This is what I was talking about with the multicolor border. How it like has the two colors merge like that. That's so cool. Flying in first strike for five. Whenever an aura or equipment you control is put in the graveyard, you may return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Dom. That's really good. Look at that mountain, dude. Oh my god. I think I'm just nutting over the art more than the cards right now. This stuff is crazy. Oh hey, since since our focus is back, here's our here's our sexy bay. She's she's pretty good. She is pretty good. 
All right. We've got... Okay, Skizik, trample haste at the beginning of your end step. If it wasn't kicked, sacrifice it. So you can get a 5-3 with trample and haste for 4, or you can keep it for 5. That's that's not bad. Um, kicker, put plus 1, plus 1 counter on each creature if you control. If this spell was kicked, put 2 counters. Banalish Marshal, other creatures you get, get plus 1, plus 1. Foil Nature Spiral. <laughs> it's, it's close to sea cake here, right? That's a crazy looking foil, man. Crazy. And a captain. Still only one mythic. No foil rare yet. We still got a lot of packs to go. I'm pretty slow at opening packs, especially. Well, not on. If I was off stream, I'd just be ripping packs. Okay. Oh, that's pretty dope. Tap to add a green. Tap to add two green and spend it on kicked spells. That's pretty good. Another Sarah's wings. Oh, curator's wand. Oh, Curator's Ward, sorry. Uh, permanent as Hexproof. If it leaves the battlefield, if it was historic, draw two cards. That's kind of cool. Uh, if, wizard enters the, if a wizard entering the battlefield under your control causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Uh, the Dean. The Dean of Students. And a Talarian Scholar. Just like, you can tell that their artists put some like straight detail into this. Triggered. Call the Cavalry. Lenore Elves, that's a pretty good thing to reprint. Okay, fight fire, or fight with fire. It deals five damage to target creature. If it was kicked, it deals 10 damage. Divided as you choose among any number of targets instead, which can include pl players and planeswalkers. So at that point, you're going to be spending, what, nine mana to deal ten damage? Doesn't seem cost efficient. Whenever you cast a historic spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Hey, go mill go. You have Moth's Vile Offering. Hmm. Uh, put up to one target creature or planeswalker card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker. Exile offering. So, you pick something and from any graveyard, put it into play on your side, you blow something up, and then you have to exile the sorcery. That's not bad. That's a weird, weird island. Wow. Syncopate. Counter target spell unless if its controller pays X. If that spell is countered this way, if the, that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into the owner's graveyard. Yay for other ways to counterspell stuff. This one I, I actually got to play in the pre-release. It's a pretty neat way to uh, enforce some control. Um, turn one, it's going to make you, uh, each opponent sacks a creature, planeswalker, and then turn two, they discard a card, and turn three, put target creature, planeswalker card from any graveyard under the battlefield on, on your control. For five mana, I mean, it's, you get a lot of value out of it if it can stay. Another ward. Holy fucking wall of text. All right. Look at the... T it's an X green green. Look at the top X cards of your library. You may put any number of land and or legendary permanent cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Holy shit. 
Like, holy shit. Huh. Is this like what Green Machine looks like after, you know, finals? Is that what that is? What's next? Okay. Another night. Deep Freeze. Druid. Before, during, and after. They say Unicorn instead of Pegasus. It's like the same casting cost, power toughness, but they gave it lifelink instead of flying. Uh, another nature spiral. We're going to have a play set of these by the time we're done. Sector creature draw a card. Oh, oh my god. Guys. It's one of the uh, must-haves out of the set. We're just gonna set you over here. Um, oh wow, that's really good. Read that, flying flash, cast historic spells as though they had flash. That's pretty fucking good. Man, can you believe that, though? We're like a third through the box. We've gotten two bomb mythics. I, I just want to look at this again. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. All right. Oh, da da da. Goblin War Chief. What? Goblins? Goblin spells cost one less to cast. Goblins have haste. Why? Why would you do this to anybody? It's a wall. It's a legit actual wall. Board the Weatherlight. Look at the top five cards. Reveal a historic card and put put it in your hand. Put the rest of the bottom of the library in random order. That's kind of neat. Squee! Good old Squee. Alright, let's get this next stack going here. This is a smart idea for the trash can. <laughs> I'm telling you. Last time I had like packs everywhere. Alright. Viscerate. Another another one of these walls. Interesting. Vandal. Oh, Jaya Ballad. So I have a deck box with when Jaya Ballard was just the task mage. And she was hot then. She got kinda old and cranky. That's three mythics. Do we hit our quota now? I mean, we still got like over half the box to go and we've hit three mythics. No foil rare yet though. There's still, still hope for a really good foil rare. After, uh, after we get these boxes open, I will take a quick break, run outside, because I think all of my pre-release stuff is still out there. So we'll, we'll kind of go through the stuff that I got then. I only played in the one sealed and got wrecked because I haven't done competitive magic like that in so long. Like they were all looking at me like, when was the last time you were like at an event? And I was like 2008. <laughs> all right, we got Torment again. Wizard's Retort, that's cost. Okay, Counterspell, straight up. Guy's Blessing. Target player shuffles up to three cards from their graveyard into their library and then draw a card. If it's put into your graveyard from your library, shuffle your graveyard into your library. That's pretty cool for self-mill decks. Mythic number four. Let's see, you got four, 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 four with flying kicker of three. If it was kicked, create... Wait, what? A legendary four, four? 
that's kind of freaking crazy. That's pretty crazy. For three extra mana, you get an additional 4 4 flyer. Just so everybody's clear, I didn't spoil myself by looking at the set list and stuff, so we're, uh, we're all kind of opening these together in a blink of an eye. Fungal Plots. Sacrifice two saps, you gain two life. And draw a card? What? Oh, Sarah Angel. And all of your different artworks throughout the years. Flame of Kel, discard your hand. Draw two cards. If a red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or a player this turn, it deals that much damage plus two to that... Dude! This right here... This last one was Pyromancer Swath. Actually, almost this whole thing minus the draw two cards. So Pyromancer Swath was like a garbage rare. But it was part of um, my Storm deck that I used way back in the day. And what it did was at the end of your turn... It did this ability, this, this third ability. But at the end of your turn, you had to discard your entire hand. So the idea was was you wanted it to hit the floor... Or hit the, uh, hit the board, and then you go off. Uh, the Nurturer. Whenever another elf comes into the battlefield, put a counter on it. Add the amount of green mana equal to her power. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good for ramp. See, this is why I want that old man Prax emote, so that way every all the subs can just be like, yeah, Prax, we know, you're old. You're talking about, like, time shift block. Lot of these honor guards. I think I've seen one. We can skim through the uncommons real quick. I still think this guy's really good. He's going to be like combo centric. Just the ability to um, phase out pretty much any any uh, historic item is amazing. Sacrifice an artifact, draw a card. Self-replicator, that's kind of cool. Alright, you said, did we get any dampening spheres? I'm wondering if we've seen one. Uh, juggernauts. No, we haven't. Not one, and we're about halfway through the box. Everybody keeps thinking that's going to be the, uh, the like, money uncommon card. We'll see. Hemorrhoids, Explorers. I mean, Homerid. Homerid. Destroy target non-legendary creature. <laughs> steel leaf champion so my promo card that i got at pre-release was a uh, foil steel leaf champion with the date on it which is pretty cool so says legacy gets plus one plus one for each creature you control that's pretty good for a two drop pretty good for a two drop all the lurkers or people who are new to the stream, welcome. You enjoy your time out there in the background. All right. All right. Well, there's the white version of what basically white knight sorcerer's wand. Settle the score and. Vigilance, create white tokens, and tap X, untap knights. You control, destroy target creature with power X or less. I don't know. What do you think about that one, Green? It's got, it's got some uses.
I like playing control decks, but they have to be in a way that I enjoy playing them. Because sometimes I don't like playing Mother May I. I used to play a lot of games with, uh, there's an icy manipulator to keep the control going. Helm of the host. At the beginning of your turn, or beginning of combat, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature, except the token isn't legendary if equipped creature is legendary. No. Oh, so you have to equip it. You equip the helmet. You start to attack, or you declare at the beginning you uh, uh, prefer ramp and commander, but straight aggro and standard. This is interesting. That's the rare. Double strike. Creatures you control with first strike have double strike. What? Dude, I just noticed this. The packs have like foil on them. Like, that's neat. Sorry, the simple things excite me. Om nom 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 nom. All right, we get another bodyguard and a vandal, ruinous blast. This is a pretty neat board wipe. Exile all non-land permanents that aren't legendary. It's it's kind of neat. Ella's the Cinder Wind, flying haste whenever. You cast an instant or a sorcery spell. Wizards you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Ain't bad, I guess, if you're into wizards. I don't know what kind of stuff you do in your off time, but uh, that's what you're into. I ain't gonna stop you. All right, another honor guard. The honor guard does like to be at the front, doesn't it? Fire Fist Adept. Sacrifice an artifact or goblin. Deals four damage to target creature. If it was kicked, it de also deals four it also deals four damage to target player or planeswalker. Feels like a uh, goblin grenade almost. Territorial Allosaurus. It's a five five for four, which is already pretty decent. If it was kicked, it fights another creature. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Creatures you control with power or toughness, one or less, can't be blocked. Hello, blue white weenie. Creatures with ramp for instant and sorcery spells? I like it. Alright, you go to that pile. Another adept, another juggernaut. Rebirth. Return all legendary permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. All them dragons, man. Oh, hey. It's Psychic again. The Lonely King. Grun is like French for psychic. All right, we're on the last stack. One more stack for this box. Only Prax can make a box opening last like an hour. <laughs> hey, look, it's not an honor guard at the front. Oh, we got the Greenland. Uh, valid. This is actually a pretty cool piece of equipment. Um, equip onto legendary creatures for three. Plus one, plus one for each land. It's pretty good stuff. 
Keeper of the Flame. Charge. I think the packs are telling me to hurry up. All right, more Sapperlings, Sanctum Spirit, Rite of Belzenlock. Uh, create two zero one black cleric creatures. Create a six six black demon creature with flying trample, and at the beginning of your crew, sack a creep. It's Lord of the Pit. Lord of the Pit for Fulber. That's, oh my god. This pack, what is, all right. Let's get, let's just get this shit out of the way here because we got a foil mythic, boys and girls. Flying trample, when it enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card, then put that card into your hand. If the cards convert a mana cost as four or greater, repeat this process. Demon Lord deals one damage to you for each card you put into your hand this way. That's a uh, sexy looking foil, though, isn't it? And that's Mythic number five, if we're keeping track from this box. If anybody's like in lurk mode and barely listening and wants me to go back through something that they may have heard me say and missed it on screen, just let me know. Uh, when you cast a historic spell, pay one. you may pay one black if you do return it from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Thorn Elemental. What? They reprinted this? Oh. Hey, look at that. That's pretty sweet. How many dual lands have we picked up? Ah, we'll check at the end of this. All right. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Oh. Wizard's Lightning. It's lightning bolt if you have a wizard. It's all right. Shield of the realm. Uh, let's see. That's a really cool saga. Like, what's up, old man cart? Nerd! All right. Return instant card from your graveyard to your hand. Return sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Until end of turn, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it. You may choose new targets. Foil Land War Scout. And a stowaway. I hope that wasn't something important. Oh shit. People sending photos and shit. Oh. All right, back to packs. Yeah, I am settled in. Um, were you here for the failure of building building a table and chairs the other day? I got two of the chairs done. I've just been like busy with everything else. We fired two people tonight, so I say tonight because I've been up since midnight. I had to go in and bake. Champion of the flame. Another is Alfred Void. The first eruption. Uh, let's see. On the first one, it deals one damage to each creature without flying. The second one, add two red. Sack a mountain. If you do, the first eruption deals three damage to each creature. That's kind of meh. What another one of these guys. This guy's actually pretty good, I think. I think he'll he'll see play for sure. He might even see play in some of my decks. I don't know. All right. Fire. Fire. All right, we 
we got a blue land. Another onslaught. History of Banana. Dude! What is this fucking box? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, guys. Don't get to hang at the cool kids table anymore? I know that feeling, man. Dude. This is like... I don't even know what this is anymore. I'm putting fucking... I put all the commons on top of the land pile. <laughs> Sorry. We still have six packs to go in this first box. Just remember, the pile over here is Mythics from this one box. Okay. Song of Freelis. What do you do? Uh, creatures get tapped. Oh, wow. Okay. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Those creatures gain Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. It's two mana. When it enters the battlefield, exile ta target tapped creature until an opponent controls, or an opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield. That's pretty good. Haphazard Bombardment, a Leviathan. Chief. Another Phoenix. Another dual land. Uh, let's see. Whenever you cast a spell, if that spell is kicked, this guy gets a counter. And then this guy deals damage equal to the number of counters on it to each opponent. That's pretty cool if you play a kicker deck. is tome. Uh, draw a card, then discard a card. You you exile, a, unless you exile a store card from your graveyard. Huh, okay. There it is. There it is, green. Time to get flaccid, sir. Got our first dampening sphere. It's so, this is so broken, though. If a land's tapped for two or more mana, it produces colorless instead of uh... Any other type and amount. Each spell a player casts costs one colorless more to cast for each other spell that player has cast this turn. It's like anti everything. It's fucking anti everything. It's anti green machine. <laughs> you may look at the top card of your library. You may do this at any time. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery. And for three mana, you can exile the top card of your library. That's kind of a really cool filter. What is this box? Dude! Holy fucking balls, dude. We're gonna go through all this, like, in a minute. I bought the box for 109 plus tax. And I'm going to have to go back up there in about an hour or something like that because their gaming guys weren't there, so the guy didn't know where all the promo box, promo cards were for buy a box. Triumph of Gerard. Howling Golem. Oath of Teferi. What are you doing? When it enters the battlefield, exile another target permanent you control. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. You may activate the loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers you control twice each turn rather than only once. Oh, this is the new uh, Hypnotic Spectre. But it's legendary, so you can only have one in the field. And it's a 4-3 instead of a 2-2. Two, two. 
And the other added thing on it is if um, that player cannot discard a card, you get to draw a card. All right. Oh, fuck. I, like, fucked that all up. All right, well, we just saw the whole pack. Guys, Blessing, Siege Gang Commander, Foiled Poet, and Rona. Okay, so my other promo card in the pre-release kit was a Rona Disciple of Gix. You may cast uh, non-land cards exiled with Rona. So when she enters the battlefield, you exile target historic card from your graveyard, and then you can exile the top uh, top card of your library, and then you can just play them out of your out of your exile zone if she's the one who did it. It's pretty sweet. Last pack of this dumb box. Okay. We got a Bolas Clutches. We've got another uh, Elfheim Druid. Another Thorn Elemental. And to finish this off, Haste. When one or more creatures you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of red or green. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as, as steps and phases end. So if I attack with one creature, I can get one red or green. If I attack with two creatures, I can do any combination. I believe that's how I'm reading that. Does that sound right, guys? Okay. Well, let's go through the foils. Got a foil rare. One, two, three commons, a mountain, and an uncommon, and it's nature's spiral, so that's pretty good. And our foil was our foil rare was a freaking dually land. Now we've got this stack. We've got Varix, History of Benalia, Foil Demon Lord, Jaya, Mox Amber, and Lara. Or La Lyra. I, I I don't know what this is. This next box is gonna hose us. I fucking know it. I can feel it in my bones, guys. I want to set these off to the sides so that way we can kind of compare if we need to. So let's just put all of this cool stuff over here. Where did I put my little... Oh, it's hiding underneath all the uncommons. I was like, where's my little vape thingy? Since I can't smoke here. I don't know. You think I got, you think I got a pretty good box there? I uh... <laughs> think I got a good box, guys. number two. save the actual boxes just to store all the bulk cards because I've got some really cool shelves in the hallway and one of the shelves is just dedicated to boxes of cards. Alright, let's see if we can't repeat some of this craziness here. Uh, focus still good? Uh, let's, let's figure it out like right here. Okay. Chainer's Torment. Red Land. Helm of the Host. We've almost got our place out of those guys. God, that box was just crazy. Oh, too far. Fungal Plots. Owl Familiar, 
Precognition field. Toothaches do suck. That's pretty cool. It's not like, you know, the last box where everything was just pretty fucking nuts right out of the gate. Fungal plots, wizard lightning, weather light, Joda. Joda. Saw some stuff with game nights where this card was just dumb and, and they were playing Brawl, I think. The new format, which is like Commander, but with 60 cards. And you have to play with cards in standard. Da 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 another nature spiral Sylvan Awakening until your next turn all lands you control become two two elemental creatures with reach indestructible and haste they are still lands there's our playset somebody's building building some uh, blue white blue white angels Are you saying you to Sylvan Awakening? It's probably not worth a damn thing. Sarah Angel. Excavator. Another dual land. Oh, to Brawl. Honestly, I want to try out Commander, but I don't own that many cards that are good in Commander. Since I wasn't collecting for like four or five years, I took so many breaks. And I mean, I, I could just go buy singles if I want to, but all the stuff that you want in Commander is just so fucking expensive. Alright, Phantom, Thalid, <laughs> right? Antiquities War again. Spike combo decks, that's gross. Uh, foil Cyclops. That is our first foil of the box. I, was, I think I was happier with that foil mountain because it was actually pretty. Okay. Another, another Icy Manipulator. Gaia's Blessing. Another Oath of Teferi, that's fucking dumb. That's pretty legit. That looks so good. Oh. Black, white, vampires, and knights. Oh. Other legendary creatures you get troll get plus two, plus two. Oh, he's good. He's good. I don't care what you guys say. I haven't really seen too many bad cards. I've seen cards that are like okay, but it'd be hard to find them the right home or deck. And by the time you figure it out, it's too late. All right, Urza's Tome, Spirit. Draw three cards, target player puts the top. Wow, that's a really crazy sift. Like, I'm gonna draw three cards. You're gonna mill three cards. Famine Incarnate. You know, a lot of duplicate rares in this box from the last box. Hello, kitty. Skizik. Sarah's wings. Flame Keld into another avatar. Okay. I mean, if you want to give me, you know, enough to do like half my play sets and most of my rares already, I'm, I'm okay with that, I guess. Da, da, da. Da, da. Da. Bump. All right, Untamed Kavu, Flame of Keld, Glorious Rebirth, and a Fugitive. Dude, I'm about to like message Jeff and be like, hey, you want to come over and play some cards before your kids get home from school? I got an itch. 
Wizard's Retort, Green, Black Knight, and the Dean. We are getting a lot of the same ones. No Mythics so far. We're on the last pack of the first stack. We've gone through all them packs and still no Mythic in this box. I guess it's kind of uh, what we get after pulling six with a foil. Fungal Plots. <laughs> when you move in, we'll play cards. Self-Replicator. Oh, nice. And we get a Linguist. Or Liturgist. Let's see. Oh, his armor is all foily. Okay. Thanks for keeping me company while I uh, crack all these packs, guys. The common stack is getting pretty high here. All right, another Champion of the Flames, a Shield of the Realm, right up Bells of the Lock, and a Psychic. You get home from work at the same time? Oh, I'm going to be passed out. Like, I've been up since midnight. Um, a good day for me would be, like, Sunday, actually, because I don't work Mondays. Like, pretty much any time after, like, 8 in the morning on Sunday. <laughs> Woo, me! Alright. Na na nature Spiral, a Soothsayer, another Black Blade, and a Stowaway. Man, we're getting pretty deep into this box with no Mythics. Sorcerer's Wand, and a Siege Gang Commander, and a Leviathan. This, like, pack order is really weird, too. Alright, man. Um, I'll message you on Facebook or something after I get home. Because, I like, I bake every Sunday, usually, and I'm going to be baking every Saturday and Sunday from here on out, from the way it sounds. So, I'll be getting home... Like Saturdays probably around eight in the morning, and then Sundays probably around like seven. So I will be one of those people that cracks a beer at, you know, like seven thirty in the morning. All right, we got another lingering phantom, weight of memory, another territorial allosaurus, foil cast down. We're getting a lot of foil uncommons. That's the third foil uncommon this this box. So I don't know if that's helping to alleviate some of this but uh i'll tell you right now it's actually sunday sunday might be a little later i gotta like do pop and stuff because the the um the new stuff starts on monday so i want to get it all done on juggernaut another dual land foil swamp it's kind of a neat looking swamp Ripping from the wrong pile. Whatever. They'll all get opened eventually. Yeah, this pile's got the goods in it. Alright. Skizzix. Seal away. Alright. My luck is un-fucking believable. Green Machine, if you're still awake. It's a Karn. set him over there. Holy fuck. <laughs> Sounds good, dude. Green machine. Green machine. <laughs> You're like the only one of the regulars that knows like the values of this. I know Do uh, Dr. Payne would know like how good this stuff is if you sat and read them, but... Oh shit, three gun commons in a row. Oh, it's the Warlord. Okay. 
I don't like the new change they're making, by the way, where there are no more blocks. It's, everything's a standalone set, starting with Dominaria forward. So that just means, like, Standard is going to, like... They're going to have to f figure out how they're going to do Standard. Sarah Angel. Final parting. That's a really, really cool tutor, if you ask me. It's a good way to, like, cycle shit out. Thorn Elemental. Oh, the snapper and foil. Hey, hey, Jehora. Mmm. Mmm. You sexy woman. Mmm. For those that don't know, whenever you cast a historic spell, you draw a card when she's in play. It's pretty legit. Alright, well, there's all of our mythics. We got two. I look at it this way, if I can at least get two mythics out of a box, I'm 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 not happy. I'll be happy with at least three, but settle the score. Daring archaeologist. You return artifact card from your graveyard to your hand whenever you cast. Oh, I think we, we pulled one of those, right? Hey, another Rona. Yeah, so I don't have all four chairs set up. I, I have I have two. I have two chairs now. Memorial, the trickster, Lich Mastery. Alright. Sorry, kind of flying through them now that I've seen a lot of these rares. Whenever we see something we haven't seen, I'll definitely stop. Alright, I know I've pulled at least a play set of fucking Sarah's now. Oh, Shally. Good old Shally. You, planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have hex proof. For four green, or for four and two green, put a plus one, plus one counter on every creature you control. Mm. The angel deck looks like it's coming together, Green Machine. FC is nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Alright, we got an Urza's Tome. We have a Seal Away. Goblin Chain Whirlwinder. And Merfolk Druid. And like I said, it's this is the block. This entire set is the block. All right, Kavu, cast down. Well, that's three uncommons in a row, so that means our rare is a legendary. Oh, Ariel's pretty good though. We did determine that earlier. Vampires, well, knights are pretty powerful this block, too. Um, a lot of knight synergy. All right, Fire Fist Adept. Another Juggernaut. Another Dual Land. And a Psychic. Last stack, boys and girls. I wish I could just crack packs all day. Nothing ex more exciting than cracking packs. All right. All right. Another cast down. A golem. A mending dominaria. Wow. And an Urgos. It's two of those. And like I said, it being a hypnotic specter with a little more power and toughness, I don't mind paying the extra mana for it. Especially since it's got the, uh, um, if, you know, they can't discard a card, you get to draw a card. That's a really nice change. Fight with fire. Sorcerer's Wand. A two-headed giant. That's the first one of those. Oh, wow. Is it? That's a straight reprint. Cinderwind. I 
I thought they weren't going to ever do coin flip cards again, but I I was wrong. <laughs> Alright, Icy Manipulator. Black Land. Curator's Ward. Foil Common. And Singer Pure Blood. That's the first of those. Um 4-4 four, four for 7. It's got the Singer Vampire. Whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt damage. So it's not even just like... Dude! Dude! Am I reading that right? If I just deal damage to a creature any way, shape, or form, it gets a counter? That's crazy good. Now I see why it costs seven. Thank goodness Dark Rituals are in Magic 25, Masters 25. All right. All right, we got a wall, Time of Ice, a Thorn Elemental, and... Our third mythic finally. Flash enters the battlefield, copy target instrument or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets. Other wizards you control get plus one plus one. Wizard synergy. Wizard synergy. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Triumph, another Icy Manipulator. All right, what do we got now? Traxxas. Trample enters the battlefield tapped and doesn't untap. Whenever you cast a historic spell, you can untap it. I mean, it's a 7-7 seven, seven with Trample for 4. I guess it's got to have its drawback. But I mean, if you're already... If you've got them out as an artifact creature, you've probably got other artifact creatures... So therefore, you're running artifacts. All right. Da, 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 da. Another crap land. A crap land. Quick creature gets plus three, plus zero, and has vigilance and trample. Whenever it dies, attack. When a quick creature dies, attach four bears, four bears blade to target creature you control. That's kind of cool. You don't have to like pay the equipment cost. You equip something one time and. It just floats around. Okay. Broken bond, huh? We're getting a lot of the song of uh, of uh, Fraley's Yog Moss Vile Offering. Nice. Ooh, a Helm of Host is our foil rare. That means we've got three Helm of the Hosts, which is kind of a interesting way to make copies of stuff. Our Wizards Retort. And a shield. And oh my goodness, boys and girls. Gilded Lotus. I know it's a reprint. But I don't own one, so I mean, I'm happy with that. Healing Grace and Foil. So the value showed up, sort of. I'm happy if that would have been a Foil Gilded Lotus. Oof. Alright. We've still got this and one more pack. Alright, that's not it. That there, There's something decent. Cabal Stronghold. I know it's not Cabal Coffers, but it's pretty good. I mean, three colorless to basically get as much black mana as you own. Last pack. Another war chief. A Thalid. 
History of Banalia number two. And a foil dread shade. We got two foil rares out of this box. And we got that's pretty dope. That's a turn one three three if I've ever seen one. That's pumpable with black. I'm telling you, it goes pretty good. <laughs> and Avarod. Okay. Well that was fun. So in this box other than Helm of the Host and Dreadshade in Rares. Stronghold, Lotus, um, another Mending, Sh Shally, uh, a couple of uh, couple of dual lands, I know that. There's, did I see two in this box? All right, one, two, oh no, there's gonna be three because there's another one back here. Three dual lands in that box. And then we didn't think we were going to have value, but we got a History of Banalia and a Karn. So that's pretty freaking ridiculous. Now, I didn't check to see how many dual lands we got in the other box. Let me. Because we have one that's foil, which that's in the foil stack. So we'll just set that right there on top so we know. Uh, one, two, three, 